What's up traders? Two trades today, one on SQ, one on SONO. Let's get to it. Real quick, before the live trades, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that the Friday night live stream is tomorrow night, as well as if you are one of the high-level support members of the channel, we will be doing the Saturday night live stream at 9 o'clock Eastern. Friday night live stream is at 9 Eastern as well. And here's the live trades. Watching SQ here. Let's see if we can get this pop through 50. There we go. Get the extension up towards 105. We started here, got 75. The spread was actually really good there. See what it wants to do if it wants to go through 105. We got that previous resistance up there around like 105.75. Is the high from yesterday. Go ahead and put an order out here just in case it wants to drop quickly. Put it at 103.85. So we can get that quick 104 flush. Trying to go high a day here. It's struggling though. Let's see how it feels. Obviously looking for this to run up to yesterday's high. Price action is definitely felt feels like it's being held up. Except now it's coming down. Here we go. Let's see if we pop back to high a day. We're going to look at add here. Felt like we we're gonna just go lower. There we go. Through 70. Down to 60. Looking for this flush through 50. There we go. We're going to look to try to get 75% here if we get down towards 104. Getting a nice flush here. See if we can get down there towards 104. We actually hit the button. We didn't get filled though. Interesting. That's the first time that's happened to me. I have it set to give us a 3 cent window there, but I guess it jumped pretty quickly. Hit it at 28. Did not get the fill. See if we can come back down closer to 104. As you can see, we felt the bottom there, and we were right. Unfortunately, we didn't get our fill. All right, it's loaded up. We'll put the order out there this time, see if we can get it to come down. We'll put it right there at 104.09, see if we can get down there. There we go. We're coming down now. Just looking for the 104 test to get the 75% out. It's coming down. There we go. having some trouble getting down to the 104 test coming down here we go on the bid no fill rejected right off of our order coming back down again here we go coming down so close the ask has been steady up there though so it's hard for us to look to cover this manually just letting our order sit there might have to be a little patient here. I do feel like we're going to get the 104 test. It feels like we're trying to come down and test it. Coming down again. Got to 10 again. All right. Rejecting right off our order again. Let's see if we can come back down. 104. Just looking for that 104 test to get our 75%. At this point, we might get a flush straight through 104 if it does come down and test. It's really trying to hold that 104.10 area. Here we go again. Here we go, we're on the bid, and there's our fill. And we went right through 104, just like I thought. We're gonna see if we can get the rest down towards that 103.62 area. We need to see if we can get through 104 and hold though. So this thing keeps testing 105. It's really looking like it's just inevitable at this point, but we're kind of letting it do its thing. It's tried it about two or three times now. Assuming we're gonna get stopped out, but hey, we'll uh, we'll see. We got our range order in. It is what it is. If it wants to stop us out, it stops us out. Oh, and there it is. Okay, so stopped out of SQ. Still not a bad trade. Started a little bit smaller just because of the price. Didn't want to get too carried away with uh, buying power just in case. And uh, yeah, we'll move on. Check out Sono. Okay, nice little move here through the half dollar. It's rejecting right above yesterday's high. Kind of liking this. Let's see if it wants to come back down through yesterday's high. Trying to come back up. All right, I'm kind of liking this. Go ahead and get started here at 65. I kept trying the 65 area. We went through it. Let's see if we can get a push down towards 50. There we go. Probably going to look to just take 75% right around 51. Be a pretty good drop. About 50% of the move. Put the order out there just in case. 
There we go. Coming right down to it. Bounced right off of it. Might have been a little late there. Wonder if we would have got filled if we would have had the order out there just in time. So we can come back down and retest it. 54, 52, one cent away from the bid. There we are on the bid. <coughs> and there we go. Got our fill for 75%. See if we can get down closer to in. See if we can get down to 1430s for our uh, remainder here. All right, coming down to the 36 is our bid that we're looking for. We're at 38 on the bid. 37, a little bit of a spread on the ass there, two, three cents. There we go, we're on the bid. All right, we're just gonna take it there. 37 was on the ask, not gonna fight over a penny. Didn't wanna give us the fill on the bid. And as you can see, it is popping up. So, all right, nice little trade there on SONO. All right, traders, that was my two trades. We'll start here on SQ, this one was first. Pretty standard, um, really nice move, well away from previous resistance, but coming up towards yesterday's high of day. So we are in a little bit of a range here. If we scroll out, you'll see um, that we we're making a move back up towards the highs. And it was a really nice extended move right off the uh, opening bell. And so we decided to try it out. Uh, we got a little bit smaller share size on this one just because I didn't want to possibly run into some buying power issues if this did want to shoot up through that yesterday's high and you know we would have had the scale into it so just wanted to make sure that we were safe there but it did end up still being okay we felt it rejecting this 105 area quite a few times and that 65 uh 104 65 we really felt like that was a pretty key area so we added in as it felt like it was about to break through it did pretty much bottom ticked our 75 percent cover and unfortunately we were looking for this to go a little bit lower to uh, around that 103 50 area to give us the 50 percent of that move but as you can see it did not it decided to go high of day stop us out and then it decided to actually continue higher up to that yesterday's high and looks like it tried to fake out through there a couple times and uh, it is working its way a little bit lower now so over to SONO this one was pretty nice as well we pulled this chart up it had actually already made this move through yesterday's high uh, would have been nice to see this extend all the way up to 15 but we saw it reject we were actually already coming back down towards this uh, line that we have for yesterday's high and we noticed that it kept trying to pop back up the high day and fail pop and it tried it like two or three times and as we were coming back down that last time we decided to jump in and it pretty much flushed right away decided to uh, take 75% there right above the half dollar just in case it wanted to bounce and and, and that was about 50% of the move. And then we looked to get the rest of it a little bit lower, which as you can tell, we bottom took that before it did attempt to uh, pop back up. But ultimately it did end up going down to that previous resistance, which if we had a little bit more share size, normally you would see the 75%, 60%, and then the uh, last 10% cover down at that area. But unfortunately we didn't really, you know, the share size isn't that big right now. So uh, it really didn't make too much sense to scale out the two times there. It wouldn't have really netted us too much more profit. So that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Always appreciate that support. Wink, wink. The Amazon gift card is probably in this video. Go find it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.